Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to clone or migrate Windows 11 from a slower SATA SSD to a much faster PCIe NVMe SSD. No reinstalling, no data loss, and to make this process super easy, we'll be using a powerful yet beginner-friendly tool provided by today's sponsor, Tenorshare. Their software lets you transfer Windows 10 or 11 to a new drive in just a few clicks, hassle-free. Here are some common and relatable use cases for disk cloning, and in our case, we're upgrading to a faster SSD. And here you can see some commonly used storage disks. Right now, my system is running Windows 11 Pro on this Samsung SATA SSD. It holds both the operating system and personal data. For the upgrade, I'm using a PCIe NVMe SSD which offers over 5 times the speed of the SATA drive. I've installed it into the M.2 slot on my motherboard and we're ready to begin the migration. We've booted into Windows with the newly installed SSD and as you can see in File Explorer, I've manually formatted the new drive to NTFS. Now this step is unnecessary. The migration utility we're going to use will automatically handle partition creation and formatting during the process. I only did it to show you that this NVMe is currently empty. Meanwhile, on our primary SATA SSD, you can see the existing Windows installation along with data we definitely don't want to lose. Alright, now let's head over to Tenorshare's official website and download 4D Deek Disk Copy, the tool I mentioned earlier. It makes it super easy to clone entire disks or partitions and even lets you move your Windows installation to a new drive or computer without having to reinstall anything. You can grab it directly using the link I've added in the video description below. Click on the free download button and wait for the installer to begin downloading. Once it's done, launch the setup. Just click OK. Accept the license agreement and proceed through the steps by clicking Next until the installation is complete. Click Finish to launch the program and you'll see the 4D Dig Disk copy interface. Before starting the cloning process, it's a good idea to check your drive's health. Just click on the Quick Check option to run a basic health scan of your disk. Once that's done, we'll head over to the Clone Disk tab to begin the system cloning process. But before we continue, a quick heads up, I've activated the software using a registration key provided by Tenorshare. This unlocks extra features and benefits. Plus, if you ever run into any issues during the process, their free customer support can really help you out when things get tricky. By the way, here's the current pricing for 4D Dig Disk Copy. The monthly plan is just $12.95 and the best part, you can cancel anytime. Plus, there's a 20% off coupon code available right on the pricing page. Just copy and apply it during checkout. So if you only need it for a one-time use, the monthly plan is a solid option. Let's continue right where we left off. The first step in cloning Windows 11 is selecting the source disk. This will be our current primary drive with the letter C partition. Once selected, click Next. On the following screen, choose the target disk. That's your newly installed drive where we want to clone Windows. Click Next again to proceed. Now on the preview page, you'll see an option to resize your Windows partition using a macro slider. You can expand or shrink your Windows partition based 
on the target disk size. This is useful when upgrading to a larger or smaller drive. In my case, both SSDs are 256 GB, so no changes are needed. But if your target drive is smaller, like 160 GB, you'd need to adjust the slider to fit the partition within that limit. Since we don't need to change the partition size, I'll just leave everything as default and make sure use as a system disk is checked. Click start to begin cloning process. Cloning takes about 10-20 minutes. Depending on your hardware, avoid using the PC during this. Once the whole cloning process is done, it'll ask you to turn off your PC, remove the source disk, and insert the target disk. Then, reboot into BIOS to make some changes there. Before that, I check disk management to confirm everything went fine. Restart your PC from Windows. On Reboot, press your BIOS key repeatedly to enter BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS menu, navigate to the Advanced tab under SATA Information. Locate and disable the SATA port that was connected to your original source disk. This helps avoid any boot conflicts. Next, switch over to the Startup tab. Here, set your newly cloned SSD as the first boot device. For the second boot option, it's a good idea to disable the disk drive completely. Now save changes and exit the BIOS. Let's see if the system boots successfully from the newly installed SSD. And there we have it. That was pretty smooth. No need for any reinstallation. To confirm everything, I'll quickly open Windows Disk Management and check if the system is now running from the newly installed PCIe NVMe SSD. And yes, it is. All my apps, files, and settings have been carried over perfectly during the cloning process. Huge thanks to Tendroshare for sponsoring this video. If you want to try out for the dig disk copy, the link is in the description. That's it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.